Good morning and welcome to school today. It is Friday. Um, it is the 18th of November. Miss Doble's here to sing our Red Oak song at the end of our broadcast. But let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's see what we're having for lunch today. We are having cheesy breadsticks, garden salad, marinara cup, and applesauce, and celebration cookies. Let's see here. All right, see if we have any birthdays for today on the 18th. Doesn't look like we do. But tomorrow is Sam Long's birthday, and it's also Trevor Masters' birthday. And then Gabe Johns has a birthday on Sunday, and so does Kalia Abbott. And then that's all our birthdays for that. So you four who have over the weekend birthdays, come see me at lunch, and I'll get you a birthday balloon. Our attendance was 93.4. Remember, 96 was where we want to be, but everybody does this feeling terribly. We only had one perfect attendance homeroom, and that was Miss Lee's room. So everybody give Miss Lee's class a round of applause. They'll hear it as they go up and down the hall. Great job, Miss Lee's class. Round of applause. All right, and fourth grade had the best attendance yesterday. They'll be dismissed first. All right, remember that our manner of the week is hold the door open for someone if you see somebody coming, okay? Uh, let's see, and remember to be checking lost and found because we're going to send that off to Goodwill or someplace. Um, and remember that at lunchtime, your bottom needs to be on a number. All right, and remember that our mission at Red Oak Elementary is to have academic excellence, a nurturing environment, and finding our passion or purpose. That means finding what we really are about, what we want to do with our lives, okay? So I know you're reviewing that with your teacher, so I'm trying to remember to review that every day with you guys. Congratulations to Miss McDermott's class. They have completed their fifth Red Oak chart. <coughs> Excuse me, and then I have a, um, an idiom for today. It is sick as a dog. I don't even know why they say sick as a dog, but when you are sick as a dog, then you are very, very sick. So um, I was as sick as a dog when I got the flu, okay? I really can't even explain that one because it just is sick as a dog. So, But if you have a sick dog, it is nasty, so, or cat. Cats with a stomach bug, not fun. All right, Milo Simpson, I saw your dad at the coffee place this morning. He, he has passed 80, rest, bleh, 80 lessons in reading at 90% accuracy. Catalea Mesa has passed 20 reading lessons, and Connor Reed has hit 60 math lessons at over 90%. All right, and then let's see. Kaylin Richards um, has been very focused on her research of the Native Americans in the Great Plain regions. That's interesting. Jace Adewale used appropriate responses. Jace Patrick, um, let's see, realized when the teacher got serious and changed his behavior. Smart thinking there, Jace. Um, Sawyer Fritz used text evidence to support his answer. R.J. Caver is a great example. Landon Plotz is a great leader in their classroom. Gabe Johns was a great participant during uh, math, whole group math. Uh, Mahari Davis set a good example for her group. Nathan Von Verde said sorry when he almost interrupted. I love that you caught your behavior. That's great. Uh, Blade Nichols. Pushed in everyone's chairs after they forgot. Oh, and they forgot the manner too. Thanks, Blake, for that. Elise Nasano was an active listener. Caitlin Tate always says the Red Oak expectations out loud. Thank you, Caitlin. Everybody's supposed to be doing that. Atticus Thomas was an active listener. And Nora Pickerel also was an active listener. And Charlie Madden. Oh, wait, one more. And Jake Mako. Great job, you guys, with being great listeners too. So, All right, let's see if we've got a couple of jokes here. I know I have a Thanksgiving one. Um, why, why did they let the turkey join the band? Because he had the drumsticks. <laughs> That's a funny one too. So, um, what's easy to get into but hard to get out of? Trouble. It's easy to get into trouble, hard to get out of. And then, um, poss opossums are immune to several types of snake venom, including rattlesnakes and copperheads. So, opossums are lucky when it comes to that. All right, let's see if we got one more. Let's see. Why did the hamburger always lose the race? Because it could never catch you up. Catch up, get it? Um, and why was the rope so stressed out? It was all tied in knots. All right, let's sing our Red Oak expectation with Miss Do our Red Oak expectations with Miss Doval. 
Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn, do our best, own our behavior, and always treat others the way that we want to be treated. And know we can, and know we can. R E D O A K. R E D O A K R E D O A K Red Oak. Remember, it's super important to me that you are kind to one another, that you keep your hands and your feet to yourselves. There's just no reason to put your hands or feet on anybody else. Um, and remember that hallways and bathrooms are silent places. Have a fabulous. Oh, teachers, check your text for your Flamingo Friday challenge for today. Um, and uh, read that and if you've got questions come and ask me um, and then uh, have a great day and do your work and do it well and I'll see you guys on Monday have a fabulous weekend love you guys